It's quite good that you've got, you know, light steering on this car because, cause, 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 you're able to, ow. I'm trying my best not to put it into one of the trees if I'm quite honest. Right, what's up guys? So today you join me from the driver's seat of a 1993 Land Rover Discovery. Now this shape Discovery was the first one produced, so it's a Discovery one, I suppose. And this one has had many modifications. <laughs> it's so funny to drive. <laughs> now obviously, the base spec version of this Land Rover Discovery is quite a nice one, actually. She's got leather interior, it's got electric windows and electric sunroofs. Now this is the 2.5 litre turbo diesel version of the Discovery. And don't get me wrong, she's not very fast. In fact, Matt, the owner, was saying that it barely gets over 70 miles an hour with these wheels and tyre combination. Now, first impressions with driving this car. Although the steering is very, very light for such a big truck, the accelerator is pretty stiff. You have to sort of jam your foot down to get anywhere. The clutch and the gearbox do have a nice feel to them though. They're not as stiff feeling as I thought they would be. Although driving along normally at, you know, 30 miles an hour as we are now, it feels very vague. The car feels very vague. Um, it's very sort of like this, swaying around. That's probably down to the four inch lift kit, the two inch spring lift and the two inch body lift on the truck but it definitely is out to tackle a speed bump very, very easily. But this truck is built for purpose, let's be honest. It's lifted and it is four by four right up, let's be honest, for a reason. This also has a complete straight through DCAT exhaust system, bar one box that's still in the car. But I must admit, to drive is, it's quite funny. Uh, the steering's so light and, you know, relatively precise for such a big truck but when you do put it into a corner, it's swaying around so much that you're sort of finding yourself correcting yourself as you're going down the road. I have noticed one thing though, no one messes around with you when you're coming through. They will wait for you in this, everyone gets out of your way and I can completely see why. Because there's no way I'd want to meet the front of this car in a little argument because I think this would definitely win. Right, first gear pull for us. There's 30. <laughs> now, going back a couple of years, my mum actually had one of these for around 10 years. Um, exactly the same color as well, actually. The fetching green that most of these discoveries seem to come in. The tire and wheel package on this car is very, very wide. So when you do come up to sort of a little bit of a narrow part when you're driving, you have to sort of look and make sure the tires have enough room to get through because obviously they're a lot wider than the actual truck itself. We're just driving it along. Oh, it's, it's just like a pantomime going down the road. It's so lumpy and vague, but it is such a good laugh, it really is. Now these seats as well, although they're the standard ones, have had sort of a custom job done to them. Basically someone's taken the padding out of the bottom, so they sort of act like bucket seats. They do actually support you quite well around the bum area. <laughs> First gear, second gear. <laughs> so as we come onto the byway, it's quite a dry day today. There's still wet patches and stuff, but this cheeky little four by four can definitely take the abuse. There's a lot of ruts. There's a lot of potholes and stuff, I suppose, along here, but she takes it in her stride. She really does. Still very comfortable as well, which is a very, very good thing to me. You still want to be in some good comfort when you're doing a cheeky bit of off-roading. And she's definitely lively. <laughs> she's definitely lively. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> now at the front of this truck, you do have these branch defenders or whatever you want to call them. And they definitely work. As you can see, there is a bit of tree here. 
and it just goes straight past it, no smashing across the windscreen, which is what you want. Oh, she's she's good at this. We are liking this. I have been down here in uh, in a couple of four by fours in my past, but this one I must say takes it in its stride. It just is not even phased by what's going on. I do think with these you can sort of go as fast as you so wish to down one of these byways and get thrown around, but the car itself just carries on. <laughs> oh yeah, off-roading! <laughs> oh, this could be the car that gets me into off-roading. Oh no, it's great because you can just sort of plow through any rut or any piece of anything in the road and it will just go straight past it, straight over it, no fucking about. She does not mess about. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, oh it's such a good laugh. Guys, honestly, if you want to get into 4x4 in an off-roading, buy yourself a nice landy like this. <laughs> you don't have to have a fast car to have a laugh, I tell you. This is so much fun. In the puddle, oh yeah. I do remember from my mum having one of these, when you do go through, you know, a puddle or whatever, it does splash up onto the bonnet, making it very, very exciting for the occupant in the car. Just like so. Only little puddles, and it's making a very big solid dance about it, and that's what we like in a bit of off-roading. So guys, here we are. Lovely day, lovely bit of uh, scenery here of the Isle of Wight. Um, fantastic 4x4. Let's have a look around this Discovery. Now, obviously from standard, this one is completely different. As you can see, it's been jacked up um, four inches. Uh, you've got a two inch spring lift with a two inch body lift on it. Now, obviously the original um, front on this has been completely cut off um, to make way for many, many off-road adventures. Um, it's had this winch bar put on it, um, so you're able to sort of brush past anything you need to. Um, hasn't actually got a winch on it at the moment, um, but I have been told one is on its way for it. You've also got this sort of slam panel down here to uh, save your steering units and stuff underneath. Nice little toe strap just in case um, you need to get yourself pulled out of anywhere, but to be honest, I think this thing could probably go anywhere. Obviously, cutting this much off the front of the car, you sort of had to carry on if you're gonna get these big wheel and tire package on the car. So you have had the arches cut back to make sure that there's no scrubbing and stuff with these big tires. These are actually a 33 times 12.5 on a 15 inch modular wheel. On the rugged um, gravel, you'll definitely feel the benefits. Coming around the side, you've got these fantastic looking rock sliders, so you can sort of slide off anything without getting uh, stuck. Coming around the back, obviously these tires and wheels are absolutely huge in comparison to the truck. So the side profile and you know how big the actual truck looks with these wheels and it being jacked up and stuff, huge. Coming around the back, you've got this custom made bumper. Obviously the original bumper has been taken off um, to make way for that one. Coming around this side, you've got a lot of mud that I've just been through. You've got a very handy snorkel, so you can go, you know, as deep as you want to, I suppose. So yeah, I think, you know, the cars don't have to be fast, do they? Let's be honest. And this is a prime example of how much fun you can have, you know, without going fast. You take this down any green lane or, you know, any off-road course. And as you can see, it's just such a good laugh. Matt has assured me that it has been down here before, so it's just down to my skill level, which is very, very small with the whole 4x4 shit, because I've never done it before, if I'm honest. But he said, it's all right. If you scratch it, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am trying my best not to put it into one of the trees, if I'm quite honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, that tree, that, that's definitely close. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're going we're going right over now. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. I'm not saying I'm an off-road god or anything, because this is literally the first time I've ever off-roaded a car. Oh yeah. The mirrors are still intact at this precise moment. It's quite good that you've got 
you know, light steering on this car because, cause, 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 you're able to, ow, because you're able to counteract all of the movement in the truck as you're going along with a bit of this and a bit of that. Whoa, I thought we were going over then. <laughs> Oh, she's doing fantastic down here. Go on, baby, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Although this truck is so wide, it did that so well. Surprisingly well, actually. I thought it was gonna go a lot worse than that. So a nice little Ford crossing for us. This truck could take it in its stride, I reckon. Easy stuff. I'll even go in the deep bit, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's happening. Oh, exciting. Straight through the other side, no messing about. So what are my overall thoughts on this truck? Well, I really like it. It's still very comfortable as a car. It's still able to, you know, whisk seven people in the relative comfort that you need to any destination you fancy. Although the overall feel of it being on the road is, although comfortable, a little bit vague, um, you know, and round town, you're sort of watching where you're going, don't get me wrong, but, that's not the idea of this truck. The idea is it could tackle anything you put it in its way and everything so far that I've taken it through today, I've been stupidly impressed with. It hasn't even broken a sweat. You can literally chuck it into any obstacle you fancy and it will go over it. You've got your low range if you need it, if you're in a very sticky situation and any speed bump is completely swallowed up as I will show you right now. Didn't even feel it. Anyway guys, something a little bit different for you today. I've wanted to get a 4x4, proper 4x4, on the channel for a while now, and it's a massive thanks to Matt for letting me take his uh, new toy out for a little spin. Also, guys, remember FYD Apparel, the black on black Diamond Cross t-shirts are still available. Only a handful left in each size, and without your support, I wouldn't be sat here making these videos, so it's a huge, huge thank you to everybody that supports me. I cannot believe that I woke up this morning to 17,000 subscribers, so a huge thank you to every single subscriber. I, I just cannot thank you guys enough. And as ever, guys, make sure you like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.